Introduction to LaTeX, the typesetting software. It's not a word processor. LaTeX is a program for uh, generating high quality document. So let's look at LaTeX. It's for high quality typesetting. It's free software written by Leslie Lampert. It's built on top, on top of tech software by written by Donald Kanut of Stanford. And the fonts are generated using MetaFont, also written by Kanut. It's mostly used for scientific documents because it has a lot of features which are not there in Microsoft Word or a word processor. And LaTeX is not a word processor. LaTeX encourages authors not to worry about the layout and appearance of the document but to get a content right. After you get a content right, you basically uh, view the, run it through a layout and get a document, final document. Uh, in recent time, this has changed and Microsoft Word has improved a lot and Microsoft Word has been very good with multimedia and documents which LaTeX has, it's quite difficult in LaTeX to insert images and multimedia stuff. But LaTeX is used mostly for scientific papers. So how do you start with LaTeX? It's already installed on Linux and Windows. You can download and install MicTech. Install in C colon MicTech so that it is easy to find in, in your path. Otherwise, if you go to the program files, it's harder to set your path. And for the LaTeX commands, it's all free. So just search on Google for LaTeX tutorial or tech tutorial. And then you can go to the tech users group and look around there. So there are a lot of uh, PDF files on LaTeX on manuals and stuff that you can download and read or, or you can get a book by Lamport LaTeX. So let's look at a sample document. First of all a document is an ASCII. You don't need to have any control commands or anything. And basically the backslash and uh, word is a command and inside the curly braces is a argument. You are saying document class is article. It could be article book or report and many more types. And then in this case the title, they say title is algorithm assignment, author is, this is author, on the date you can put or you can even put a command called slash today and when you run it LaTeX will fill in the date. Then you start with a document, begin and end. So LaTeX has a lot of begin and uh, braces, instead of braces you use uh, name, bra uh, name uh, markers, begin document, end document. Then slash backslash make title is a command to LaTeX to generate a title based on the information at the top. Then there's some text and there's the end document. So it's how does it work? So you run the command LaTeX and you give it a text file. It will generate a output file test.dvi device independent file. It's one page and 424 bytes. And the test.log contains the log of what how the words were typeset in test.tech by LaTeX. And then you compile the text to DVI. Next you have to, you can view the v DVI file on Windows or Linux using YAP. YAP is a program that comes with MicTech and it will show you the output and in the in graphical format. Then you can print it. So DVI to PDFM and then test.dvi, it will convert the test.dvi to test.pdf. Then you can print test.pdf using the regular printer. So it looks like a lot of work but it pays off when you're writing lots of documents and you're writing a paper and you want to share paper and a, a chapter into your report. You can just include files without actually having to open them and then LaTeX will number them and it will generate figure numbers and everything automatically. Generate a bibliography. It does a lot of things which are like index, generate index and stuff. Otherwise you don't do all that manually or use separate programs. So let's look at all the all the fancy features of LaTeX. So it has all the Greek symbols and letters. Instead of having to type in alpha in Unicode, uh, you can search for Google on Google for the LaTeX manual and you'll find all these uh, pictures out there. You just type in the backslash and the alpha, the character name. So it will generate alpha. So everything is a ASCII character, named ASCII characters, slash alpha, t backslash theta, all of them you get these characters. And if you type a capital gamma, you get capital let the Greek letter. And then like all these arrows are used in math symbols. So backslash greater than equal to, backslash greater than greater than, less than equal to, not equal to, 
down arrow all the symbols are there and many of them are in unicode also now so that's why you can actually use microsoft word but in unicode you have to go around hunt around the unicode uh, unicode character code and type it in word and then you'll insert the symbol and then there are special so art so for example backslash cos is actually cos but it's in a different font so in math papers cos in regular character is different from cos written in uh, math symbol so you can tell it's a function cos so for example all these are math functions pi backslash pi is the pi and vectors again you have like lots of vectors for linear algebra and high high quality math you need a lot of these symbols which are not possible in other software like over brace under brace you can have a brace as big a big brace as you need you can say over brace and then you have a massive expression the brace will fit the expression perfectly and the size of the square root will fit the this the what is the argument to it and then you have the other symbols also like lf and the angle from geometry infinity and more these are from physics and sharp and prime so there are all kinds of symbols in that you will not find in other software or even in unicode and then there are binary relations approximately equal to e equi uh, equivalent perpendicular uh, these are from logic uh, v dash and model and stuff this is from model theory so all the symbols are available for latex because they're writing so let's look at an example of what you can do in the next chapter we'll see uh, real details of latex so these are examples of something you can actually type it in latex and you can actually it is you say begin equation star means don't number it then r equal to then the fraction fraction has two parts there's one part and there will be another part and then uh, then equation so and percentage means comment example one and you can have as many comments as you want and dollar dollar means it's a math mode equation mode so you have a display style uh, sum backslash sum so the sigma comes up and i equal to one to n so i equal to one is written so everything is spelled out in plain ascii so it's amenable to uh, nesting and unlimited nesting and you can have unlimitedly nested math formulas which was ne never possible in regular software so that's about here and then we'll look at details in the next lecture